I'm going to go ahead and do a problem regarding steepest descent steps. I've never done a math video like this before, but I, I had a hard time finding anything online regarding this. Uh, so I decided to adapt and overcome and go ahead and make my own video. Uh, this is how my professor went about solving this. So here we go. Our first step is to find, I think it's called the gradient f of x. And all it is, is we're going to take the derivative of the original equation with respect to x, which will be 4x, and this goes to 0. And then, same thing with respect to y, which will be 2y. Our next step is going to be finding our z of t, the formula is x minus t gradient f of x or you can kind of expand this out a little bit and say it's like saying x y minus t gradient f x y kind of a better way of thinking about that and you're just going to be plugging values in which i will show here So you can see I went ahead and plugged in our x and y minus t gradient with respect to x and respect to y, just like that. And I'll go ahead and just simplify it a little bit. And you could factor out the x and y also, that's up to you. You're going to find out, um, as we continue on with this problem, it's going to get into a big mess and a lot of algebra involved. So to help double check yourself, or you can just do this route um, by solving it all on your calculator. We're going to make life simple. We're going to go ahead and plug these in as a, and store them as a var variable in our calculator as a and to b and i'm going to show that here so there's kind of no winning when it comes to showing you what's on my calculator with the glare and everything i just went second f1 i'm going to clear a to z so it clears any variables that were pre previously stored i'm going to go ahead and hit x minus four t times x which was this stored as a so we get a little bit better view it's a little bit better and y minus 2 times t times y stored as b okay now let's continue on with our next step our next step is going to be called getting our g of t which is f of z of t or in other words, we're just plugging our z of t into our original equation. So I'm just going to say 2a squared plus uh, shoot, b squared. Um, if you were writing this on a test, instead of just putting a and b like I did here, just write out this whole thing as our a and our b. And that's all you have to do for that. And 
You can expand this out by hand or on your calculator. Since I have the A and B stored, I can just go F2, expand, and I'm going to go 2A squared plus B squared. 2A squared plus B squared. And here's our expanded out equation. I'll go ahead and write that down real quick. Just so you can check to make sure you got the right thing. So you can already kind of see how I'm saying it's going to be a messy problem. Our next step is finding our derivative of t with or our derivative of g of t with respect to t. Now I'll just do this on my calculator also. This is an easy one to do the derivative of, um, but just to do it here to check yourself f3 differentiate uh, go up into that equation we just expanded and then comma t to do it in, with respect to t and there we go and I'll write this out And, well, I didn't really need to bring a calculator over. Because our next step is going to be set g derivative t. Set it equal to 0. And then solve for t. And all I'm going to do here is go to second home f3 solve go to the equation above equals zero comma t so we set it equal to zero solving for t and there we go and i'll go ahead and write that out I'm going to store this as our variable t also. Uh, so I'm just going to go up, hit OK, and then just say store as t. But I have to go way to the beginning of the command line to delete the t equals. There we go. It's stored as our t. So now to get our three steps or our answer here uh, we're going to take our x0 which is 1 and 2 and plug those in for our x and y so you'll get a value for t and then plug it into our z of t along with also the x and y's as our x0 and that'll give you your answer uh, so I'll just go ahead and write plug into I should say x not into z of t 